guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good today so in today's video i'm going to be trying out the apre dupe method i believe it's called apre or a press i don't know everybody says it a different way but yeah so right now i'm pushing back my cuticles and i'm removing the shine from my natural nails um, to make sure that everything sticks very well to my nails i already did this off camera i'm kind of just like reenacting it for you guys but yeah, you always want to do that. I do have a little bit of acrylic on my nails, um, but it's only at the tip of the nails because I leave it there since I change my nails. But yeah, you might want to go in like with bare nails or at least nothing around the cuticle area. So yeah, I'm applying my dehydrator and primer now. You want to do that as well to make sure everything adheres to your nail properly. I'm using one from Babe Nail. Normally I like to use Mia Secret dehydrator and young nails protein bond but i'm out of that so i'm just like using this up so yeah um i'm actually going to be using these bellavina jelly tips um in the long coffin length from double dip they're like these full cover nails that are made out of all gel um and you can do the same thing you do with the a press um gel method uh, where they apply the same kind of like tips to their nails with gel except it's like way less expensive their whole system is like a hundred something dollars whereas this is like what twenty dollars or something so yeah um i don't know i feel like there's so many dupes out there now that you really don't have to spend that kind of money so yeah right now i'm applying a base gel to all of my nails um this is a bella vina base gel from their nude poly gel kit um, that I reviewed a while back so yeah I already picked out my sizes and for these full cover nails you just want to make sure that they fit sidewall to sidewall um, you don't want them to be too big um, because that leaves room for like air bubbles and everything like that and then you don't want them to be too small because then they'll just pop off if you're like right there in the middle of the size you can just like file at the sides i'm going to be attaching mine with poly gel i really like to do this um with the full cover gel nails because i feel like it's way easier um whenever i do it with base gel i feel like i get like a lot of bubbles and then i'm struggling to get my hand in the lamp while holding the nail down and yeah it's just a big mess whereas with the poly gel when you put it on your nail it like stays in place and then you cure it in place and i feel like it lasts a lot longer so i'm taking this nude poly gel from that same poly gel kit i was telling you guys about in the number 040 it's just a nude color kind of similar to what i already have at the tip of my nails and i'm placing a small bead on the inside of the full cover nail and just like patting it around and then i'm going to place it on my nail um i kind of like push the nail up towards my cuticle area and then press down very slowly until the nail is like attached to my natural nail you may get a little bit of poly gel that seeps out of the sides i mean it's bound to happen but you can just clean around the cuticle make sure you do that really good before you cure i'm going to be flash curing with my mini lamp from the same poly gel kit and yeah like it's literally so easy to do it i love attaching them with poly gel because it also gives the nails even more like structure before you go in with your um gel polish or whatever um so yeah that's another little hack and the more layers of gel you put on these the stronger they get but they're pretty strong enough as it is um but yeah the more you layer on top the stronger they'll be and they last as long as your average manicure as long as you apply them right and follow all the steps that i'm showing you so yeah as you can see i slide it up toward the cuticle so it looks like it's kind of growing out like a natural nail slowly press it down and wait for the gel to like adhere to the nail and then just clean around the sides you definitely don't want to go in and just press it down really hard because then all the poly gel is just going to come out of the sides and it's going to be a big mess just do it very slowly and yeah you'll have way less of a mess and it will be a lot less complicated um, when i first started doing this um, i really hated it like doing it with the base gel but then um, i noticed people were doing it with poly gel and i gave that a try and i liked it way better you don't have to use nude poly gel either you can use um like clear or any color really that you want 
I'm just using nude because, um, you know, I already have nude on my nails, so it kind of goes, and I just prefer to do that. Um, plus, I'm doing kind of like a jelly type of polish on top of them, so I don't really want my natural nail to be showing through because, you know, you could kind of see through jelly polish. So yeah, I'm pretty much going to continue doing this on all of the nails. And then I'm going to cure it in my big lamp for 60 seconds when I'm done applying all of them. Right now I'm just like flash curing them as I go so that like, you know, the gel doesn't move around or anything. But yeah, this is a really easy like beginner friendly way to apply these nails. And you could really get your nails done in like 15 minutes or less doing this method. Like I literally left this video in real time. Um, except for the beginning part, but the rest of the video is like in real time because that's how fast it took me to do my nail. Um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in like any of these tips or anything I'm using in the video, um, I'll be sure to leave all my discount codes down below. I have a 20% off discount code with Double Dip. Um, so yeah, check out the description box if you are interested. Next, I'm going to take my 100 180 grit nail file and I'm going to file up the edges of the nails because sometimes when you take them out of the box, they have like those rough edges. So you want to make sure you go in with a hand file before you apply your polishes and stuff just so that they look nice and neat and you can kind of like redefine the shape. So since these are already pre-shaped, I'm just angling my file. Um, and holding it straight at an angle and just filing the tip in it also makes it look more natural like they're more like your natural nails when you do this if you were to just take them out of the box place them on your nails and not really shape them up at all it doesn't really look as well like you get more of that press on kind of nail look if you know what I mean whereas if you file them up they're more at one with your nails I do that all the time um, and to file the free edge, I hold my file at an angle and just file straight across or like up and down with the file. It doesn't matter what way you do it. Just make sure you're holding your file straight.
Now I'm gonna go ahead and start painting the nails. I'm using this really pretty peach color from Madame Glam. It's called Strawberry Milk. It's from their Milky Gel Polish Collection, but it's so pretty. I'm like obsessed with this color. This color alone by itself is really pretty, but I didn't wanna make it like so boring, so I did end up adding some glitters. Plus, I'm gonna show you how you can kind of like encapsulate your glitters with top coat instead of like having to go in with gel and all that like poly gel or something to do it so for these i'm only applying one coat since um it's kind of like a milky gel polish so it's kind of like a milky glittery peach color the thing about these you could kind of like build them up so if i was to go in with more coats it would be like more opaque but I'm going for that milky kind of look. So I'm just doing like a thin layer on each nail and then I'll cure my nails in the lamp for 60 seconds. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a base gel to all the nails. This one is from the Bellavina kit as well. So I'm applying a good amount to the nails because when I place the butterflies on the nails, I want them to be as flat into the gel as possible because the whole idea is to kind of get them sunken into the gel so that when you go over the nails with the top coat, the top coat creates like a layer um, over that so they're kind of like encapsulated so like i said you want them to be as flat as possible um sometimes it may not be perfect um you might feel like a little bit rough you know edges when you feel your nails because of the glitters on them it's not like they're encapsulated with like hard gel or poly gel or something like that um, unless you did want to go in with multiple layers of top coat but then again that will cause your nails to bulk up um, because of the length and everything like that um, but yeah I really don't mind and this is like more of a faster way to um, kind of like encapsulate your nails um, so yeah I prefer to do it with nails like this because the whole idea is to get your nails done fast not be sitting there like encapsulating them and doing all this extra stuff like if I'm going to do that I'm just going to use tips because it makes sense so yeah I'm doing that and to pick them up, I kind of just, my brush is already wet, so they kind of just pick up on their own because the butterflies are pretty light. If you have trouble picking them up, you can like put a little bit of 
base gel on the end of your brush and they'll just stick to your brush like that. But as you can see, when I'm placing the butterflies on the nail, I'm making sure they're as flat as possible and placing them into the gel. Okay, so now that the nails are cured, I did go ahead and cure them for 60 seconds, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a top coat. Um, and when I'm applying the top coat, I'm making sure I apply a pretty good amount so that it kind of like rests over the butterflies, kind of like if you were to be encapsulating them with a gel or something. So I'm trying to do that the best I can, but I don't wanna add so many layers to where my nails look wide and bulky and stuff because i really don't like that look um doing this kind of does bulk up the nails even like this so after i cure them in my lamp i am going to be going back in with my hand file just to redefine the shape because sometimes i feel like the nails do lose their shape a little bit um especially these full cover nails when you go in with like so many layers of gel and stuff like that
as you can see now I'm taking my hand file and just shaping up the nails like I said the nails do lose their shape a little bit when you apply so many layers of gel so what I'm doing is I'm kind of filing behind the nail so I'm not really breaking the seal of the top coat or anything like that that's a little trick you want to file behind the nail to file up the sides um, because if you do it too much on the sides you could break the seal on your top coat and the top coat will start peeling off so yeah definitely behind the nail plus it just gives you an overall like you know even look rather than having like matte sides and then the rest of your nail is shiny so yeah i'm just redefining the shape like i did before i'm just holding my file at an angle filing up the sides and the free edge and that is pretty much it for this set. I got it done so fast. It was really easy. This length is super cute too. Normally I don't do my nails this length that often. But I do kind of like the little short nail vibe once in a while. It's a lot easier to pick things up when your nails are shorter. And I know not everybody can wear like super long nails. Because people have work and stuff like that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I post reviews and tutorials every week. You definitely don't want to miss out. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell because people are having a hard time getting notified when I upload. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Love you guys.